What's up everyone, Ricky here from RPI, and it has been quite a while since I've done a video. A few weeks, mainly because Black Friday started, and it's just been so crazy and busy at work. To be expected, of course, it's retail, it's the holidays, so I've just been busy, and then on top of that, I just haven't felt like really making any videos. But, Forge is out for Halo 5, and I've been waiting for this for a... I won't say a long time, it's only been a few months. It was kind of a downside that it didn't come out with the game, but seeing... I haven't really looked at anything yet. Take that back. I've seen all like the uh, the reveal for it, everything like that, the live stream that they did, all the cool stuff. But this will be my first time really looking at the pieces personally, or in person, or whatever. And... Uh, when you when you start off the game, there's already like a wall call that's came down, a few stuff placed down as well. So uh, I saw a few pieces, nothing fancy. There was it was just like a wall call that's came, like I said, nothing fancy. <laughs> but I can't figure out how to delete everything. It's possible. Well, I just missed it. Uh, the and it's just gonna it's gonna be one of those things that takes time that you I'll have to get used to, and a lot of people will have to as well. Especially since when you go from forging uh, with with a control layout, uh, a much simpler control layout, really. Especially one that we've had for quite a bit now, quite a while. But it's not bad. It's all right there, so I can see. If I can just figure out how to <laughs> delete everything, like if, if that's not in here, it'll be a bit of a letdown. But, it, I mean, you can quick, you can select everything and delete it. But you have to like find the items. But like I said, I probably just missed it. Thing is, <laughs> quite annoyed because I had to go and look for all these pieces because I accidentally deleted the wall coliseum first, and I found all but one one piece. I don't know what it is. It's probably a spawn point or something. But I cannot find it. But I was like, you know what? This video has to go on, and so it is. And pretty much what this video is going to be is just a showcase of every single forge piece in the game. I decided to use Alpine just because it kind of gives that that standard, you know, like Forge World feel. I felt it was just appropriate. True, it ain't Forge World, but it looks really nice. Very, very nice. Just look at that. We're also going to test to see if you put a land piece over water, would that like cause water to go up with it? I don't know. But it'll be something we'll have to test when we get to that point. That's not what I meant to hit. <laughs> The objects is the Y button. There we go. So like I said, we're going to look at every single piece in Forge. It could be more than one video. I don't know. There's a lot of objects, and you have a, a object count of 1,024. A lot of objects, though. I, if I'm correct, there's roughly 1,700 objects. But without any further ado, let's get started. Let's see what we got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven different objects. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> uh, locations, I guess. And there's probably subsections in each one, I would assume. We got gameplay related objects such as weapons, vehicles, game mode objects, and more. We have the structures, objects for constructing and detailing the core level structure. Primitives, so your basic blocks. It's cool that we get triangles, trapezoids, cylinders, rings, in addition to the standard like 4x4s, 2x2s, stuff like that. So it's really cool to see an, an expansion on that. Uh, the natural stuff, which is pretty obvious. Props. Nice. So a lot of detail stuff. I wonder what they'll be in there. Because we haven't seen everything yet. Breakout stuff, which is cool. There is a breakout map that you can forge on as well. Extras. Alright, so we'll start with gameplay. Underneath gameplay, we have weapons, turns, the power-ups, vehicles, spawning, game modes. Don't know what that is. Launcher slash gravity, so those are the grab lifts. Teleporters, volumes, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, kill volumes, stuff like that. Shields. Destructible energy shields, okay, which regenerate over time. We've already know what all the weapons are. I'm curious about the turns. Here's Sea Covenant and Forerunner. Chain gun turns attach. We got rocket turns. Goss. We have a detachable goss turn. 
Hold on, let me let me figure this figure out how to turn it. Uh oh, we no way. Oh, how do I? Uh. Uh, we want normal. <laughs> like I said, this is. Hmm, this is somewhat difficult to use. See, it moves me down, but it doesn't move the object down. How do I? How do I let go of this thing? Oh wait, hold. Oh, oh, okay. So you have to hold the left trigger to start moving the object down too. So we're gonna set that down, and we are going to deselect that. And no, -uh. we have a Goss turn, a detachable one, and it looked like there was an attachable one too. That's really cool. I guess I'm still holding the turn. Okay, cool. Well, I'll hold on to that, because that's pretty cool. It's really cool that they give us that. Huh. Alright. <laughs> uh, back to the gameplay stuff. So next one, what else is there? We got, oh, the tiers? That's really cool that they have those rated as tiers. So there's now, like, no second guessing. I mean, true, you can kind of figure it out for yourself, but that's really cool. We have pads? A weapon pad. Oh, very nice. So, okay. My guess is you can change what kind of weapon it is. Yeah. That is really... Wow, okay. Wait, is that... That is the... Oh, the Spanker rocket launcher. That's nice. Wow. Rocket turn detached looks pretty cool. It's really cool that we get the weapon pad. Alright, let's see if I remember how to delete this. But there it is, yeah. That's really cool. Uh there we go. You have to like hold it, it's weird. Okay. Wow. That's really cool. It doesn't seem like we get like weapon skins, but maybe that'll I wonder if that's like something you can change in the properties, like change the skin of the weapons. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> it is what it is, really. But that's cool. So, turns, got plasma, we got the shade turns too, that's awesome. I'm glad to have those back. Uh, Forerunner, just the splinters, attach and detach. That's cool. Power ups. We've got speed boost, active camo, damage boost, and over shields. Very nice. Vehicles. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, the biggest thing that we really need is a UNS UNSC air vehicle. Look at the land ones for. Uh, actually, let's look at. Oh no, UNSC. We got Mongoose Standard, Gungoose Standard, the Warthog Standard, a Goss Standard, Rocket Standard, a Scout Standard, Scorpion, and Mantis Standard. There we go. Sorry guys, still trying to get used to this whole control scheme. So we did not get a UNSC air vehicle, we just got the Banshee and the the Phaeton. Which is kind of disappointing. And just Ghost Wraith. And doesn't look like... They're saying standard. Just go to UNSC. It says standard, so I'm wondering if like... At a later time, we'll get maybe like some skins released for it. And just Phaeton for there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Covenant, it's only got three vehicles. I guess I should have been able to figure that one out. We got spawning, that's basic, but what's this game mode stuff? Oh, flag and stronghold. Okay, alright. Uh, we got our man cannons, we got UNSC, Forerunners, we got Covenant themed ones, we even have invisible ones, that's pretty cool. I want to see this covenant one. I like how it shows the arc and where it goes, and you can adjust that if I'm correct, but we won't really go into too much detail. This is more just a showcase thing. And I am spending a little too long on these stuff, which aren't really that important. Uh, we got our teleporters, uh, kill volumes, shields. Uh, we got 8x24, 16x24, 24x24, 32x24, a 48x24. We have 
generators too. Curie. Okay. Oh, so I, maybe that's just a, a detail piece, is my guess. And then you just put the shield in between them, maybe. Looked cool. So that's all the gameplay stuff. Not bad. <laughs> but now let's move on to the structures, because that's this is going to be the most interesting part. Well, actually, props and primitives are cool, will be pretty cool. I'd say natural and structures are the two most things that I have, the, the two areas I have the most excitement for. So, let's start with the floors. 256. Okay, alright. So, a width of 8, that's a 16 by 8 by 4. And then, alright, well, let, let's see what these look like. Alright, cool, cool. Also cool. So th they're all just like these nice gray metallic looking floors. I really like it. Now I haven't messed with any of the color schemes yet, so I wonder. I won't. I won't mess with all that stuff now. But that will be something to do later and see what kind of cool floors I can get. See if I can get like a different color from. So that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to throw down this giant floor. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh. Let's get out of there real quick. Um I'm gonna have to I'm changing this oh I ch I was looking at all this control schemes just to get used to everything. Check out this snap rotation. We have one half degree, one degree, five degree, fifteen, thirty, which is standard forty-five. But then we have a sixty degree as well, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna put it on forty-five. Uh, this is somewhat hard to control. I will admit that. Ah, can we get you like flat at all? No. I guess that's the best we're gonna get it right now. So this was actually what I assumed was the Wall Coliseum uh, when the game first spawned in, which was in the recording. But wow, that's really nice. Lots of space on that. Let's get rid of that. Um, hmm. Not gameplay structures. And then we got like length stuff as well. I'm gonna have to. That's the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Let's see. Keep hitting that X button. Uh, the walls. We got simple, detailed windows, trims, and corners. All right, let's just look at a simple wall. A two by two by four. Not bad. It's a wall piece. I shouldn't look at it from that angle, but there we go. It is most definitely a wall piece. It's very nice. It's got that cool little bump and detail there. There we go. <laughs> no, structures. It's going to take a while to get used to that. Let's, let's look at some of these bigger walls here. Let's look at this one, a 2 by 8 by 12 Alright. Pretty cool. But... Enough of these 2 by stuff. Actually, I guess I will have to stick. Let's do this one here. It's the biggest wall we can get. On all, all though, not bad. Get rid of these. All right, I keep, keep hitting X. It's gonna take a while to get used to. Now we're in walls. That was like with the simple walls. All right, detailed walls. Let's look at a detailed wall now. Let's just grab this one right here. Okay, yeah, it's got a little bit more details into it. Not bad. The amount of stuff that we're going to be able to do. <laughs> and I haven't even looked at everything in here yet. Windows. They're shielded windows. Those look nice. I like these. They're nice and clear, too. But uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, 
like a regular window. There we go. I love how clear it is. It's very nice to have that. It looks really nice, especially with that like light blue tint, but still like clear. You know, it's really good. We'll get rid of that. I have to say that it is a. Uh, uh, one little, it, it's a little thing, it's nothing like serious, but every time I have to go back into the object spawning stuff, it puts me not at the same spot as before, which reminds me of Halo 3's Forge a lot. That was something, or not necessarily, that wasn't, I don't remember if that happened every time, but if you played multiplayer Forge, if you did multiplayer on Forge, have two people forging at the same time, whatever, somehow I'm at two objects, I forgot to delete another object, but... Um, if, if you had your buddy forging with you, and then they chose an item that was in a different, completely different section, your forge list would also change, would change to the last item uh, placed. So, kind of reminds me of that. A little annoying, but something to, that'll get, that we will eventually get used to, or maybe an update can fix that. I don't know. Trim pieces. Nice. <laughs> Very happy with how that looks. Very nice piece. Ah, oh, I, I keep hitting X. It's Y that brings up the the menu, but I keep wanting to hit X. Corner pieces. I gotta see this. It's gonna be like. Okay, it's not exactly how I thought it would be. I was thinking like an actual corner, but technically, I don't know. Hmm. It wasn't what I thought it would be. Let me let me pull up another one. Maybe. This one. yeah. It's not exactly what I thought it, thought it would be, but all in all, not bad. Oh, there we go. I got it to bring back up. Bring ah, I got it to go back to where I previously was. So I'm guessing as long as you don't hit anything in between that, you're good. Okay, and then you can narrow it down by width and height, which is pretty nice actually. Alright, so slopes. We got ramps, stairs, wedges, and railings. A lot of these stuff we've already seen in previous Halo games. It's just... There's just a lot of them now. <laughs> a lot more of them, different sizes. So we have a lot more options. And there's no point in me placing every single one of these items, just because it's just the same thing, just a different size. But I really like these stairs. It's very nice to have. We don't have to create our own stairs anymore using a bunch of blocks, so that's really nice. Wedges. We got some good size wedges. A good selection of wedges, I should say. Very nice. Oh, I'm going to have to go all the way back. <laughs> uh, what are we on? Slopes still? Yeah. Railings. We'll just drop in a railing piece. Oh. Okay, there we go. That's like a really small railing piece, but you know, I'll get a bigger one. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Keep moving around quite a bit. Oh, I don't remember how to do that. We have accents, accents, accents. I don't know. Well, what is it? Floor storage. Oh man, this whole movement. Okay, that's still gonna be something to get used to moving that around. All in all, though, that looks that looks really cool. It's a very nice decorative piece. But are all of them like that? It's a tower of some sort. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to like attach to a tower. No. Not really sure. God, oh, I did it again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's going to take a while to get used to that, like I said. Platform. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. I got to see this other platform piece now. That is really nice. That's a very nice piece right there. I like it. <laughs> I think we got, like, wall ac accents, accents. I I'm pretty sure it's accents. It's cool, it's like detailed. Some really nice detailed stuff right there. I really got it. It's down. I, I just, they're definitely all not just different sizes. They're, they're 
I guess some, just some detailed pieces to throw down on the walls. That looks really nice. Uh, detailed, <laughs> detailed, detailed pieces. Yes, yes. Well, not what I meant to do, but okay. That's going to take some getting used to. Definitely. I keep repeating these things, but it, it's true. This forge is going to take quite a bit of getting used to. But I love the amount of detail, the time they're putting into this. And this piece right here is really cool. I mean, just look at that. There's so many uses for that. You use it as a tarp. You can use it as whatever, really. That's really cool. I'm actually really glad we got that. I didn't even know that we needed a piece like this until now. Alright, what's next? Exposed left. That's pretty cool. And the right one is just the opposite, so no point in bringing that one up. A module. Very cool. Tech exposed. That is pretty cool. What kind of stuff we can do. Another module. I think I brought that one up already. Tappered. Oh, what is this? Like I said, it'll take some getting used to. You can only use the right stick for this stuff. Or can you use arrows? No. So I'm gonna have. Uh, I'll just turn this way. It kind of reminds me of a strut. Look at that. Only. If only I could get this to turn. Turn the proper way. You can only. I said right earlier. I meant left. I'm trying to get it to turn more, but that's as best we're gonna do. Well, that's cool. It kind of reminds me of the strut. Let's get rid of that. Detailed insert. Oh, that's cool. That's a really nice piece. It's got some nice detail to it. Wires. Very nice. Overlapped left. Oh, this is a. It's a big piece right here. Let's bring this thing out of the ground. And attempt to turn it. Oh, that's going to be... Well, I did it, but more or less. That's going to be the most difficult thing. Up, down, left, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just going to move to this side. The amount of training I'm going to have to do just to be able to, to pull that kind of stuff off. Oh my gosh, but that's a really cool piece. Oh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm just I'm just imagining all the uh, the um oh, oops all the, the stuff I'm going to have to learn and figure out how to just to be able to move it more effectively All right there we go that's a nice piece too all these pieces are really nice I know I keep saying it but like gosh they're really good pieces I mean, a little odd with the blue but hey it is what it is all right that was the accents, right? We did the platforms, walls. Alright, supports. We got blocky, round, detailed, and tech. Blocky. Oh, columns. Very cool. They look like legit columns. Here's another one. Very nice. Round. We have round columns. Nice. Detailed. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> And what was the other one? Tech. That's pretty nice too. Don't need to go over the width stuff. Alright, we got bridges for infantry. Let's just plop that one down. I was expecting a giant land piece to come out of nowhere. It's a nice bridge. Let's see if I can get this to flip over correctly. There we go. That's the other side of it, which is also pretty nice looking. Uh, we got bridge corners. We got like that. 
which is a chamfer. We got an angle. That, that's nice. Yeah, I'm glad we got an angle piece like that. The elbow, which is very cool. And those are just bigger pieces of them. Alright, so let's roll for infantry. We have vehicle bridges. This should be nice. And... Ooh, bless me, sorry. I am not disappointed at all. That looks really good. I'm glad we have inf er, infantry, vehicle bridges, and infantry bridges, and then more corner stuff. Oh, that elbow for the vehicle one looks really good. And that's my cat meowing. I could see that being used for more than just infantry. Or more than just vehicles, not infantry. Well, hi! Corners. We got bridge corner pieces, all different sizes. Very nice. Hold on. <laughs> Eventually. Should I let him out of my room? <laughs> I feel like I went all over all that. These are just corners. They look like the same as the vehicle ones, but whatever. All right. <laughs> Be right back, guys. really wanted out. Sorry about that. Let's check out these railings. Oh yes, it's like the really cool railings, but now I gotta fix that. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, 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 why did I do that? Here, let's just, uh, we'll look at it that way. No, wait. That way. Perfect. Oh, it even shows like your distance to it. That's cool. And that's a very nice railing. <laughs> the railings seem to be the same. We got some shielded railings. Which are... Those are pretty nice. I was expecting more like the energy shield type things, but those are nice. Let's get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> oh, heavy railings. All right. Pretty cool. Alright, there we go. <laughs> that was it for the railings. And then we got cover pieces. Looks like we got street covers, jersey barriers, solid covers, uh, some more street covers, but like cornered pieces of them, and tech covers. But let's just take a look at this solid one. Pretty cool. Alright, let's look at these jersey barriers we all that we all know and love. Got a nice retexture, which is cool. Just look at that one. Wow, really small. <laughs> uh, street cover. Let's throw down this giant one. Okay, not bad. I, I really like that one, and I just reset it all. Are we under supports? No. We're under barriers. No, we're not. Bridges. There we go. Under covers. <laughs> Uh, let's check out that corner one. Oh, I love that. Can't wait to make a city map on here. It's gonna be nice. Uh, let's check out this tech cover. Eh, not bad. Got a cool slant to it. I like how we have all these options, though. It's so nice. The barriers. We're going with the heavy barriers. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I was not expecting this. That is a nice piece right there. And a corner piece for this? Ho oh, ho. I like it. Yeah. You can use this some more just barrier stuff too. You can wow. It's got some good detail to it. I like the color of it. And the the little I don't know what to call it, but the little little thing right there. Kinda of just Breaks it up, makes it not all just one giant block. It looks so good. That's a good piece. Let's get rid of it now. Haha. -ha. Now we got our energy barriers. I. Okay. That's really interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of those. 
find new ones. Let's look like a let's look at a giant version. They're interesting, no doubt. Huh. If we need a bigger one, here. There we go. So you can get some cool, like, futuristic buildings, I guess, made with these. Or create your own energy barrier thing. So it's kind of like the shield doors, but, like, you can't walk through them, but they're still blue. I don't know. They look cool, though. I mean, really aren't that bad. Just not exactly what I was expecting. Generator. Oh, so that's, like, stuff you put in, put next to it to show where it's coming from. And they're all just the same thing. Uh, okay, and then like corner pieces from. We don't really need to look at those. Cages. Cages. Okay. Let's look at this one right here. Oh, okay. Fences. Well, they're cages here. Um, I can definitely see a Jurassic Park map coming out. I'm gonna make. I'll, I'll try to make a Jurassic Park themed map. Maybe. We'll see. I could see other people definitely doing that for sure. I might, I might not. But with those cages, sure, why not? <laughs> and then these are the corner in, corner... Oh, that is a nice piece right there. That is the corner in, but let's check out the corner out. That's also a nice piece. I like it. I'm trying to move things right along, because I've decided to pretty much just keep this as one video. Primitives. We have our just our basic blocks we have this 128 right here we'll just take a oh I thought I clicked 128 yes I did yeah, let's, let's look at that this is our biggest block right here one giant cube a lot of uses for these cubes obviously we got smaller pieces for them but look at that boom it's a really nice color too I like it so th that was Blocks. Then we got. Let's just get the biggest triangle we can get. I was expecting bigger, but you know what? It's not a bad size. Trapezoids. Uh, I guess we want a 32. Cool, cool. There's not really too much to show with these blocks. They're very nice. They're going to have their uses, no doubt. And the color's not bad at all. And if you can. Um, me mesh, I guess is the word. Or I should, sh maybe I should say mix. Mix these well with the, uh, not the basics. I forget what they're called. What they're called, but um, they're just like regular structure blocks. I'm sure everything will look really good. I mean, yeah, it will have to. Look at that water. It's so nice. Anyways, uh, here's a half cylinder. That looks really cool. Makes me wonder. Yep, we got fools. Full cylinder. So do we have like a a fourth cylinder? We have half and full. I don't think we have fourth. Oops, we still gotta look at the rings. Aw oh, yeah. Look at an eighth. That's nice. Quarter. Very nice. Those ring pieces are gonna be really nice. Oh, there's only eight oh eight eighths, halves, and quarters. These ring pieces are green pieces are gonna be really nice. Can't wait to use them. Alright. So that was it for the primitives. Now we got the natural. And I can actually show off every single environmental one from every map. But we'll start with the alpine stuff. So we got flats. We'll just grab the biggest piece of flat we can get. Very nice. That has to be the most insane thing ever to see to see the ter the, the terrain piece just transform like that, to take what's below it and really just roll with it. Now it doesn't look like we can really get like water. It just kinda puts water streaks with dirt underneath, but it looks really cool. So you could build your entire map to say, oh look, it even shows our boundaries. But I think that's like I said, and you can turn on and off. But you could build a map all the way out here and have this type of floor, but also have someone else could build a 
similar map, but like with different flooring, and like, you know, all those differences, even though it's the same map, you get like, the fact that you can do this is just insane. <laughs> I can't even explain it properly. It looks so nice. I, I have to duplicate this and, and see how, how that fits in. Okay, so I got the piece here. Ow, okay, alright. <laughs> We're gonna... I forgot this one in the house. I mean, obviously, the, you can tell it was placed right here, because I didn't really bother to line everything up. Ow. That being said... It almost is seamless. And if I had actually put more effort and kind of broken up this line a little bit with more train pieces and rocks, it'd be insane. But look at that. This is amazing. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Natural. Alright, oh, fine. So those are the flat pieces. That was that was really cool. And we have terrain ramps. So we'll just Ah <laughs> I should not have altered that. So Okay, I just threw myself under the map. That was a very quick respawn, though. Um, let me, uh... Get back to over here. So it does curve up. That's really nice that, you, that there's a piece that will curve up. It's really nice. Just look at that. Look how it morphs. That's insane. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see how that works. It just merges in really nicely with the terrain. Love it. <laughs> and look at that. If you were to ignore that far right there, it it looks like that's part of it. That's insane. So we have banks, very nice, really nice. Slope helper. Oh jeez, okay. Uh, it's almost like I'm looking at a, a ring, like a halo ring, but like miniaturized. That looks, wow, that's a really cool piece. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Um, wow. <laughs> hill. We have hill pieces. Okay. I was expecting more of, like, Halo 2 Anniversary hill piece when I thought of that, but you can definitely see the hill part of it, so no complaints. None at all. That is really nice. Bowls. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is just incredible. Look at that. We have a bowl piece. I wow. <laughs> Alright, now we have a, a flat a flat rock. Very simple. And then different sizes of them if I'm correct. Yep. We have chunks, okay. Let's just grab our biggest rock ch chunk. <laughs> okay. Alright, this thing. Let's bring this out of the ground. It's still going. Okay. This is our largest rock chunk. And I don't know if you guys remember, I think they were like rock coliseums from Halo 4. This has like that's even smaller than this, and those were like some those were some pretty decent sized land pieces. This is insane. You could probably like flip it on its side too. Oh gosh, to make something cool with that, that that's insane. But let's just look at like a smaller piece too, just to see. Oh, and they're like different textures. I completely forgot about that too. So it's not like all going to be like the same thing. 
they're all retextured. Oh my gosh, everything's different, <laughs> and I love it. You can mix mismatch everything. It's gonna be great. It's all gonna go nicely too. We have cliff pieces. Okay. I am inside that. There we go. Ah, not that way. Not that way. Well, okay, fine. There. <laughs> wow. That's a very nice piece. We only have two cliff pieces? Yeah. But they're they have it looked like they had different textures from each other. Or different designs in them. Arches. <coughs> Bless me. Sorry guys. <laughs> These arches look really nice. If I could, you know, get this to properly. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh! If you hold down both triggers, you get that direction. If you only hold down the right trigger. No wonder why I've been having trouble. Okay, well, now it's going to be a lot easier than I thought. That's a nice archway, though. That's, we have to check out this other one. Okay, nice. I love these archways. They look like a bunch of rocks just rocks piled together, not just one giant arch. Oh, the columns look real nice. Okay, let's, let's move them closer. Nice. Once again, individual rocks just like piled on top of each other. Arrangements. Okay, cool. So it's just like a few rock stuff put together. Not bad. Boulders. <laughs> yeah. So just different size boulders, nice. Trees, we got full trees. Very nice. We have logs, which is pretty cool. Oh, cool. it's like a burned out log. Very thin. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that log. <laughs> and stumps, we have a tree stump. There we go. Tree stump. It's pretty cool. So that was all for Alpine. We have Glacier, which I wonder... I should probably have gotten a bigger piece, but... Let's grab this giant. No. So it doesn't look like these... Well, they do. They do actually pick up a bit of what's underneath them, which is really cool that it does that. Let's see if something to delete. So I got two pieces out there somewhere. Oh, one's probably that Goss turret that just probably respawned or whatever. Uh, so there's no real need to go into those. I do want to check out the asteroids. Because <laughs> I... See, it looks like an actual moon base, which is nice. This was something that we needed on Halo 4 Impact, Halo 4's Impact map, and even in the Halo 2 anniversary, we needed this type of terrain. It's very nice. We're going to have some epic, cool uh, moon bases, not moon bases necessarily, asteroid bases. It could be moon bases, but really cool space theme maps. I can definitely see, oh, what's that map? Uh, Poldis Massa from Star Wars Battlefront 2 getting remade in here. I think I might try my hand at it. Maybe someone else will get to it first. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So that was... Yeah, that was it for the natural. We're looking at... Oh, there's a lot. We have stuff from barrels, cover pieces, crates, cargo, exploding. Okay. So all our fusion coils and stuff. Panels, signs, vehicle... We're hog tire, a forklift, a vehicle lift. Cool. Car and a van. Nice. See that car? Very nice. I know you can change the colors on it and stuff. It's nice to have the Warhog tire. That's really cool. Just adds more elements to the map. We have toys, a ball, a die, all of the space piggy, and Timmy the space whale. Come on, we gotta place Timmy. Look at that. Yeah, Timmy! And then all of the space piggy. Let's see. A lot of cool signs. We got a hotel sign. The urban maps are just going to be insane in this game, and I can't wait to make one. Nice panel pieces. I'm assuming they're pretty much all... No, they all have different stuff. Okay. I do got to pick this up, though, because we're at 44 minutes in. Uh, cargo container. Door. Okay. 
So we should actually look at the cargo containers. Oh, the, oh there we go. Open, and then we can add a door in. And then a closed one is the same thing, yeah, pretty much. Let's check out this vehicle one. Uh, an open vehicle one. Nice. Like I said, fusion coils. <laughs> All right, look at that. Crates. We got pallet, the metal pallet. Uh, ammo crates, which is pretty cool. Large crate. That looks nice. Let's check this. Nice. Uh, cover pieces. We got solid jersey barrier, street, and tech. These are all just the same stuff from earlier, so it kind of just kind of goes back, I guess. So no need to really cover that. Barrels, uh, that's an exploding one, and a non-exploding one. Uh, tech, TV monitors, nice. Oh, antenna, yes. So there's one antenna. Now we have two. And the third. Just trying to clear through all these. Go. Oh, our satellite dish. No stand. No, with stand. Okay. Nice. I assume this is a smaller one. Yeah. It's really cool that we got the satellite dishes. I'm very happy about that. Uh, construction. We got beams slash gritters. Let's check out. Nice. Very nice. Glad we got that. All these I beams, different sizes. Oh, sweet. So we got all these like joint pieces. We got a T joint, an X joint, and a corner piece. Cool. Uh, connectors. We we'll just grab the biggest connector. That we have pipes. Oh, yes. I guess those are just the same things as there. I don't know. We have extra pipes, it appears. Not as, I was expecting erosion pipes, but you know what? Those skinny pipes are really nice, too. That's a nice pipe cap. Uncapped, capped extras, all sorts of cool stuff. Urban. So windows, like that. The facade windows, very nice. Billboard. With the Golden Warthog. I hope we get that in game eventually, like in an update, because they do plan on updating Forge. So who knows? We got the traffic cone. We have a pylon. Very cool. Another type of traffic cone. <laughs> we have benches, so we no longer have to make our own benches, guys. That is really cool. Wow. <laughs> it's so cool that, like, I'm still finding stuff in here that is just, like, wow, I, I didn't think we would we would need this. Because we, we used to take two brace, just a regular brace piece, and turn them into benches, but have to hide them in walls. But this is so much nicer. It gives us more options in where we're going to place our benches, and it looks really good, too. Oh, the car and van, I'm pretty sure that's just the same, yeah. Uh, vending machines, though. We got an orange one and a blue one, which is cool. Oh, we got dumpsters. Nice. That's one. Let's see if this one looks different. It does. Very cool. Very cool that we got an urban section. Holograms. As I thought, we only had the one hologram. I was hoping we would get more, but that's really cool. No, it talks. Oh my god, it's actually talking. In whatever the prophet language is. That is the creepiest... Alright, if you move away from it, it doesn't say anything. That is so cool. So we'll do that in-game? Alright, we're getting rid of that. That's a little creepy, though. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one with that. Like, it's just me. <laughs> that would suck. But the fact that they actually went in and added a little voice thing for it that just adds so much more realism to and just really puts you into a map oh, the covenant theme maps are going to be amazing with that alone 
Uh, so we got some generators, one from Empire, Forge generator, and the Eden generator. Not sure. Okay. They're all like different sizes and stuff. Interactive. Sorry guys, got a bit of a stuffy nose. Uh, just stuff you can, you can interact with, switches and whatnot. Ramps. Does this mean we have a deployable ramp? No, maybe. Wait a minute. Interactive target ramp metal. I'm gonna have to test this. Huh. I don't know, I was expecting more. <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of expecting, like, from Foundry in Halo 3 when the ramp falls down. Not Foundry. Wow. Last Resort from Halo 3 or, uh... Can't remember the name of it, but it was also in Halo 2. But it had the giant wheel. Can't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> Anyways. But it had the piece where you hit it and, like, the bridge collapses down. I thought it would be like that. But maybe it's it needs a switch or something to it. Miscellaneous. We have a tool bag. Cool. A duffel bag. Very cool. And it's just another pallet, a metal one. Breakout stuff. We don't really need to look at all that. Especially since, like, well, actually having a launch platform is pretty cool. I'll save breakout for another time, though. Extras. We have lighting, uh, decals. These are all, like, letters. We'll throw down a star. I mean, you can place that over walls and stuff. There's all sorts of stuff. Numbers, uh, symbols. I'm pretty sure there's a UNSC symbol as well. Uh, even words like danger, danger, Bill Robinson, danger, caution, stuff like that. It's pretty cool stuff there. All right. Burst of red sparks. Cool. Even blue sparks. Oh, human fire. The fact that... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I am sorry. So that's what it looks like. That is really cool. It's going to add so much stuff to the map. Alright, smoke. Nice. That looks really good. Flames and smoke. Very cool. Oh, we have covenant flames too. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Uh, we got like a gr just gray smoke here. Very cool. Covenant smoke. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that one. A, a steam? Oh, steam. That is really cool. Burst. I wonder if you can use that as like... Oh, that's just... Shoots out for once in a while. Use it in like a... An urban map, and then like it's like a busted pipe, so steam coming out of it. Let's fill. Oh, that that is cool. Actually, I gotta see that from afar. It all takes effect. All right, here we go. Eh, doesn't have that big of a range, but still cool. We have dust. We have drifting dust. The fact that we have dust. Oh my gosh. And then we just have painting dust. Very cool stuff. We have sounds. Alright, let's try this turbine. That's just gonna add so much realism. I don't know how well you can hear this stuff on here, on there. We have nature. Oh, let's hear this thunder. Cool. <laughs> you probably won't be able to hear it very well. Yeah, we like alien creatures, all sorts of stuff. Pulses. Wow. I'm not going to go through all these riot and explosions. In fact, we have sounds. That's just incredible. Scripting, cameras, and cinematics. I guess for like ending stuff and the opening stuff. Invisible blockers, which is really cool. Just invisible blocks that we can use. I don't know what these chromos are. Oh, green screen. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> My bad. That'd be good for 
Machinimus. I guess I should do lighting. So there's all sorts of cool stuff. This construction light. I know you can have actual lights too. I know there's a way to do that. But yeah, all sorts of cool stuff here. Oh, the cows. And we already did that. And that's pretty much everything. We didn't really go too in-depth on, on every single item, because a lot of them is just the same stuff repeated with different changes, different sizes, different wordings, like for the like stuff you can put on the wall. Uh, we didn't even go into Breakout. There's just no point to, because we're not on a Breakout map. It's going to be a lot of the same stuff, plus we're already coming into an hour in this video. But I may do a Breakout showcase later and use it on the actual breakout map since it'll fit in. I don't know if I'll make a breakout map though, at all, like ever. Who knows, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I know for sure, I'm about to start forging lots of cool maps. I don't know how I'm gonna get them tested though. I can't do split screen, cause that's not a thing anymore. I'll think of something guys. So, if you managed to stay with me this far, an hour in, showing off all these pieces, these insanely cool pieces, I only showed off this one map, but it is what it is. Really cool stuff. Absolutely happy. Thank you, 343. You've done a phenomenal job. Can't wait to start getting into this. I'm going to have to find that, uh, the delete everything button. <laughs> but other than that, really good job, 343. Stay tuned for more content from RPI. We're back. Once again, sorry for such a del not a delay, just a lack of content. There was a lack of motivation to make videos. But with Forge now out, I'm going to be making tons of cool stuff. I'm definitely going to be remaking a lot of maps. I'm going to do Halo remakes. Remakes from other games. Uh, I'm remaking Barrier. Without a doubt. It's going to be remade on... I'm thinking Glacier. That'd be cool. Like it froze over or something like that. I think that would be cool. That's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, because I'll be doing some Let's Forges, all sorts of stuff like that. And we shall see you guys next time.